Here is a serval that is seen south of Zahara and that is native to Africa. It needs watercourses within its territory and does not in li live in the deserts. Servals don't have any symbiotic relationships. They can take care of themselves and don't need others to protect them from harm or help them in any way. Kittens are born shortly before the peak breeding period of local rodent populations. A serval is able to give birth to multiple litters throughout the year, but commonly does so only if the earlier litter die shortly after birth. The kittens weigh around 250 grams at birth and are initially blind and helpless. They open their eyes at 9 to 13 days of age and begin to take solid food after around a month. When they are around 6 months, they acquire their permanent canine teeth and begin to hunt for themselves. They leave their mother at about 12 months of age. Life expectancy is about 10 years in the wild and up to 20 years in captivity. The longest recorded life of an African serval in the wild is 23 years of age. In captivity, average lifespan is 22.4 years. The serval isn't eaten by many other animals, other than larger cats such as leopards, cheetahs or lions. Though the biggest threat to servals are humans, sometimes people mistake servals for small leopards and kill them for their pelts. Servals are nocturnal. They mostly hunt at night, unless they are disturbed by a human or a large nocturnal predator. Its diet includes rodents, birds, hares, hyraxes, reptiles, insects, fish and frogs. Servals eat very quickly and small prey are devoured whole. The serval uses an effective plucking technique in which it repeatedly tosses captured birds in the air while simultaneously thrashing its head from side to side, removing mouthful mouthfuls of feathers. According to the Werribee Zoo website, servals are in the least concerned section, meaning that they are definitely not an endangered species and are not a worry at the moment. The serval doesn't really have environmental problems, but the serval did become extinct in the Cape provinces of South Africa over the last century, mainly due to habitat loss, hunting and poaching. Thank you for listening to my documentary. I hope it helped you.